everyone, my name's Emma and I'm from Little Silver Hedgehog and I'm a hedgehog rescuer and also a jewellery maker. And today I'm going to show you how to kiln fire in carbon some art clay copper. You do have the option of uh, firing the art clay copper with a torch, um, but you have to um, torch each piece for about five to seven minutes. You then have to quench them very quickly after you finish torch firing in some water. And what I found is that the layer of carbon that builds up, basically it's just the oxidizing uh, copper. Basically, once you put it into the quench, that layer explodes off and you can lose some of the detail from your art clay copper. So I just wanted to show you some of the pieces that I've got ready to fire. They're already made in the art clay copper. Some little squirrels here and also some little hedgehogs and these have got stones also set into their eyes. So I made them a couple of days ago and they're all nice and dry. Need to make sure that everything's completely dry before it goes into your kiln. So you can actually fire the art clay copper on an open shelf. So you could just put your art clay copper into here on a little firing shelf, that's absolutely fine. But like with the torch firing, you would then need to quench it straight away after firing in the water. So you've got a few seconds to basically get that out of the kiln and get it um, into the water. So if you don't want to do that, you can use activated carbon. And this is my little setup. So I've got my little box that's been fired a few times, but this is a special material and although it's black, this won't flake off, so it's not going to make the kiln dirty. And what I've done is basically put about half an inch underneath my little creatures and another half an inch on top. I'm going to fire it open like this. So this is now ready to go into my kiln and I'll literally just pop it in onto those um, little posts that you saw earlier. Just try and do that without it falling off. So there it is. I will allow a little bit of space and also you don't want it too close to the heat probe at the back. So this needs a longer firing in order to work. So although normally you would fire the art clay copper for half an hour at 970 degrees, I'm going to use a slower ramp speed. So I'm going to use ramp speed three. So basically it's just going to take a little longer to get up to temperature. I'm then going to fire it for an hour and a half at that 970 temperature in that activated carbon. I'll then allow it to completely cool down in the kiln before taking it out. No need to quench anything like that. And then the little pieces, when they're ready, they'll go straight into my pickle of citric acid. There may be a tiny little bit of um, discoloration that needs to be removed, so they'll go into the pickle. And then when they've been in that for a little while, then they'll be brushed and finished. So hope you've liked the little explanation and um, I should get busy and make my little creatures. Thank you, bye.